The clutch hand, Giuseppe Morello, also known as the Old Fox, was the Morello crime family's first boss and later a top advisor to Joe the Boss Masseria. He was known as Pidu and his rivals the Castellamarese knew him as Peter Morello and was famous for having a claw-like one-fingered deformed right hand. Giuseppe founded the 107th Street Mob in the 1890s, which later evolved into the Morello crime family. While he was initially a unifying force, he later became a central figure in underworld conflicts and was an early victim of the Castellamarese War. Today the Morello crime family is known as the Genovese crime family and is the oldest of the five families in New York City. Giuseppe Morello was born on May 2, 1867 in Corleone, Sicily. His father, Cologero Morello, died in 1872, and his mother, Angelina Piazza, remarried one year later to Bernardo Terranova, a Corleone Mafia member. Bernardo and Angelina had seven known children, Ciro, Nicola, Lucia, Salvatrice, and Rosalia, as well as two sons named Vincenzo, the first, born in 1874, died at the age of two, the second, born in 1886. The Morello and Terranova children grew up together and Bernardo may have facilitated Giuseppe's early induction into the local mafia clan. Morello also had an uncle, Giuseppe Battaglia, who was a leader in the Corleonese Mafia and may have assisted in his nephew's escape, according to David Critchley in his book, The Origin of Organized Crime in America. In 1889, Giuseppe Morello married Maria Rosa Marsalisi. The couple had two children, Angela, born 1891 and died 1892, and Calogero Charles Morello, born November 1892 in Corleone and died in 1912. Morello's exact year of immigration to the United States is not certain. According to Mike Dash, he immigrated in 1892 after becoming a suspect in a murder in Corleone and after his counterfeiting ring was compromised. Despite his departure, the Italian government filed a case against him and found him guilty of money counterfeiting. He was sentenced to six years and 45 days in prison, plus a fine, on September 14, 1894. It is possible that the sentence was passed in absentia. Morello appears to have left Sicily for New York around this time, according to Critchley. On March 8, 1893, Morello, his three half-brothers Nicola, Vincenzo, and Ciro, his stepfather Bernardo, his mother Angelina, his two sisters, his wife Maria, and son Calogero arrived in New York City. In the mid-1890s, he relocated to Louisiana in search of work, where he was joined by the other Morello Terranova family members. The following year, they relocated to Texas and began farming cotton. They returned to New York in 1897 after contracting malaria. Morello dabbled in various businesses, including failed investments in a saloon and a date factory. Morello's first wife, Maria Rosa Marsalisi, died in 1898. In 1902, he purchased a saloon at 8 Prince Street in Manhattan, which would later serve as a meeting place for members of his gang. Morello married Nicolina Salemi in December 1903, and she remained with him for the rest of his life. Giuseppe founded the 107th Street Mob in the 1890s, which later evolved into the Morello crime family. Ignazio the Wolf Lupo, the Sicilian Mafia boss in Manhattan's Little Italy, married Morello's half-sister Salvatrice in 1903. Morello built his empire by mercilessly imposing death sentences on anyone who dared to challenge him. Lupo, his main enforcer, was responsible for over 60 murders in 10 years. The Morello family was notorious for using the barrel murder system, which involved dumping dismembered corpses into large wooden barrels. The barrels were then dumped in the sea, abandoned on a random street corner, dumped in a back alley, or shipped to non-existent addresses in another city. Extortion, loan sharking, the Italian lottery, robbery, and counterfeiting were all family businesses. 
Illegally earned money was then legitimized by legal businesses owned by the family, such as stores or restaurants, making them the first crime family in town to organize this type of money laundering. They also pioneered new methods of extorting small sums of money from business owners every week in exchange for protection, as opposed to large sums that could bankrupt them. This method was used by black hand gangsters and resulted in increased profits for the gang. Giuseppe Masseria and Salvatore D'Aquila were members of Morello's Familia who became captains under Morello and later rose to prominence in the New York underworld. According to Nicola Gentile, by 1905, Morello had established the largest and most powerful Sicilian crime family in New York City and was recognized as Capo di Tutti Capi, boss of bosses, by mafia leaders in other U.S. cities. Morello was found guilty of counterfeiting for the second time in 1910 and sentenced to 25 years in prison. He was later released on parole, but was released from the constraints of his parole in 1922 when President Warren Harding granted a conditional commutation of sentence. Nicola Terranova, the youngest of his three half-brothers, took control until 1916 when he was killed by the Neapolitan boss in Brooklyn, Pellegrino Morano, and Tony Peretti as part of the Mafia Camorra War. Morello's remaining half-brothers, Vincenzo Terranova and Ciro Terranova, took over as boss and underboss, respectively, and ran the family until Morello's release. Morello, newly released from Atlanta Federal Penitentiary in 1920 and attempting to reclaim control of his empire, was seen as a threat by his former captain, now-turned-mafia boss, Salvatore D'Aquila, who ordered Morello killed within a year of his release. Morello, along with a number of others who had received death threats from D'Aquila, fled to Sicily for a time. Umberto Valenti, a former D'Aquila gunman, went after Morello and his chief protector and ally, Masseria, in order to regain D'Aquila's favor. After much violence and some notable deaths among the mafiosi involved, Valenti was killed in August 1922 by Masseria gunmen, some say including or solely Charles Luciano. With Valenti gone, D'Aquila's power began to lose its invincibility luster. Morello, sensing that his time to rule had passed and Masseria's power was rising, became Masseria's consigliere and prospered under him throughout the prohibition years of the 1920s. During the Castellamarese War, which lasted from 1930 to 1931, Masseria and Morello fought against a rival group led by Salvatore Maranzano and Joseph Bonanno in Brooklyn. Morello, a seasoned killer, was appointed as Masseria's war chief and strategic advisor. Giuseppe the Clutch Hand Morello would become one of the war's first victims, who was killed along with associate Joseph Periano on August 15, 1930, while collecting cash receipts in his East Harlem office. Morello's killer was identified as a Castellamarese gunman known as Buster from Chicago by Joseph Valachi, the first made man in the American Mafia to turn state's evidence.